Hi guys, um, I'm a little bit early. I just wanted to test a few things and make sure this was working. Uh, I thought I was gonna be late, so this is, uh, this is good, this is good. I'm going to make sure that my chat is up, so if you see me looking down, it's because I am reading your comments because I can't do so on the phone and I film on my phone, so. Uh, feel free to drop me a comment and I will wait for a little bit longer to make sure that uh, people come in the room and people are here. I'm wearing my PJs because I said it's PJ time because it's story time. So um, the reason that I decided to do this is because as an adult, I'm constantly being reminded of really fun kids books and picture books that I grew up with. And also I'm being introduced to so many really cool and creative um, picture books and stories, even as an adult. And those of you who know me know that I am literally just a large child trapped in an almost 40 year old body. I know, I can't believe I said that. Hi, Andy. Um, so I think that we, uh, we are terrible if we don't continue to play. So that's what I'm doing. I want to live my life um, playing all the time and just having fun because uh, while responsibilities and bills and everything else pile up, I think it's really important to remind ourselves that we're really just big kids. There's no reason to change that. Uh, and so I've decided to do story time. It's gonna be Sundays going forward. My bad, missed Sunday yesterday. Um, but I'm going to be doing story time Sunday every eight, uh, every Sunday at eight o'clock Eastern Standard Time. And each week I will read a different uh, picture book. So when I'm done with this week, if you guys would like to drop me a line here in this video or um, even just, putting it on my page and let me know what books you would like me to read. If there were any amazing stories from your childhood that uh, you would like me to read or things that maybe as parents now um, we're reading our kids or we're, we're discovering for our kids. Uh, this one I actually discovered via Netflix because there are some amazing videos. Hi, Anthony. Um, there are some amazing uh, actual movies of this um this and other books by julia donaldson so that's how i discovered this and both my adult husband and i <laughs> fell in love with the story and i went out and i bought the book and i have a couple um possibly we'll see if i can we'll see if i can finagle my friend jabron into allowing me to read his book he has one of the other books in this uh by the same author of the graffalo is room on a broom also on Netflix, also a really fun movie. And uh, my friend Gibran has a Scots version of Room on a Broom, so I don't know. It's a possibility I might read that wearing my Merida wig. Possibility. I am throwing it out there as a possibility, not a definite by any means. But um, I love this book. I don't know how many of you guys know The Gruffalo. Again, uh, we discovered this by happenstance on Netflix. There's a great movie on Netflix, and it's this book, animated. Uh, James Corden is one of the characters. He actually plays the mouse, uh, and I will not do the voiceover work justice. I will give you that right now because the uh, voiceover team who did this on Netflix did an amazing job. So, um... I'm gonna wait just a little bit longer. We have about four more minutes until I promised that I would be on. So, um, just gonna give myself a like and give you guys some love. So I hope that um, hope that you guys are all doing well. Hope that you all had a great Labor Day. Um, I see An Anthony and Andy in the room. Who else is tuned in? Give me a shout out. So. I can say hello before we get started on our story time Monday. I see, is that Lynn? She's not saying anything, but I saw a like.
Again, I'm looking off to the side because I have my computer over here, my phone here, my lighting rig here, which is literally just our living room lamp. Life is a lamp. Um, yeah, it's a, it's a little uh, spastic rig I have going on here. I don't do very many videos very much anymore. Oh, I have that book, Tim. Pretty sure I have that book. If I don't have Vader's little... Yeah, I think I do. I think we actually got that uh, because of Padawan. I also have the Jedi Path. My awesome ex-roommate, Lance Moose, got me this. And I got him the Sith one. Reading is fundamental. That is so true, Les. That is very, very true. Reading is fundamental. And it's important. And it's important that we don't lose sight of the fact that we're big kids. <laughs> I mean, I am. I think we all should be. Um, a lot of the books... Oh, while we're sitting here waiting... Hi, Tim. Um, let me show you my Holy Grail. Hi, Meg. Um, speaking of books... Oh, gosh. This um, I'm going to show you my favorite book ever of all time. And it's really, really special too. And I stole it from an ex-boyfriend. <laughs> Shh. Um, uh, an ex-boyfriend of mine got me into this series and I got into it later in life as an adult, not as a child. So, uh, or as a, a youth. But when I lived in New York, this series basically saved my life. I love it. Um, if you're not familiar with Dragonlance, it's the Dragonlance Chronicles. Um, and this specific one, um, Dragons of Autumn Twilight, it's the first in uh, a series. And the cool part about this is when I was working for Mythic Entertainment, um, I worked for a, an MMO called Dark Age of Camelot. And so this fit in perfectly with what we were doing. And one of my tasks was to create these things and, and sort of be a coordinator of these road trips that we did. It was the round table road show and we went to different locations um, throughout the country. And one of the locations we went to, uh, we actually had Tracy Hickman and his wife um, come and speak. And later that year, we went to Dragon Con, and Tracy Hickman, Margaret Weiss, and Salvatore, who did the cover of this, um, is his name Salvatore? Oh, I don't know, but anyway. Uh, Larry Elmore, I'm sorry, it was Larry Elmore, um, signed my copy. So it's by the artist who did this wonderful artwork, and uh, the two authors of this. And for those of you who uh, who followed me for a while, you probably know that if I were to ever have had my own child or named my own child, um, and if it was a, a daughter, I would have named her Lauren Thalys, Lorana for short. And that's directly from the Dragonlance books. So, okay. We have people dropping off, aw. I was so excited to get started. Oh, hi, Jody. Um, oh, Jody, if the kiddos are around, this is a great book for them to listen to as well. I'm reading, tonight I'm reading The Gruffalo. We have a couple of people dropping on and, and off, so um, because I know that this records and will be here for posterity's sake, I will get the show rolling, because it is 8.01, as I promised. Um, and so we will start reading The Gruffalo. This is by Julia Donaldson and A Axel Scheffler. The Gruffalo. And again, if you have an opportunity, once we're done with this, make sure to go on Netflix and please watch these because they're phenomenal. All right. So the inside. Just so you know, this is where our story takes place. So everybody can kind of get an idea of our atmosphere right here. So you guys feeling like you're there? Feeling like you're in that, those, those woods? Good. The Gruffalo by Julia Donaldson. Pictures 
by Axel Scheffler. <clears throat> a mouse took a stroll in the, the I'm going to start again. A mouse took a stroll through the deep dark wood. A fox saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come and have lunch in my underground house. It's terribly kind of you, fox, but no, I'm going to have lunch with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? <laughs> What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? Here's our fox and our little brown mouse. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth in his terrible jaws. Where are you meeting him? Here, by these rocks. And his favorite food is roasted fox. Roasted fox? Oh my, fox said. Goodbye, little mouse. And away he sped. Silly old fox, doesn't he know? There is no such thing as a gruffalo. And her terrible teeth and her terrible jaws. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. An owl saw the mouse and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Join me for tea in my treetop house. It's frightfully nice of you, owl, but no, I'm going to have tea with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? And here's mouse and owl. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart on the end of his nose. Ooh, where are you meeting him? Here, by this stream. And his favorite food is owl ice cream. Owl oh, ice cream, to it, to who? Goodbye, little mouse. And away Owl flew. Silly old Owl, doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a Gruffalo. His knees and his toes and his poisonous nose. On went the mouse through the deep dark wood. A snake saw the mouse, and the mouse looked good. Where are you going to, little brown mouse? Come for a feast in my log pile house. It's wonderfully good of you, snake, but no, I'm having a feast with a gruffalo. A gruffalo? What's a gruffalo? A gruffalo? Why, didn't you know? His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all down his back. Where are you meeting him? Here, by this lake. And his favorite food is Scrambled snake. Scrambled snake. It's time I hid. Goodbye, little mouse. And away snake slid. Silly old snake. Doesn't he know? There's no such thing as a gruffalo. His orange eyes and his Oh, but who is this creature with terrible claws 
and terrible teeth and his terrible jaws. He has knobbly knees and turned out toes and a poisonous wart at the end of his nose. His eyes are orange. His tongue is black. He has purple prickles all over his back. Oh, help, oh no, it's a gruffalo. So there is such a thing as a gruffalo. I think he's cute. My favorite food, the Gruffalo said. You'll taste good on a slice of bread. G -g good said the mouse. Don't call me good. I'm the scariest creature in this deep dark wood. J just walk behind me and soon you'll see. Everyone is afraid of me. Oh, sure said the Gruffalo, bursting with laughter. You lead the way, and I'll follow after. They walked, and they walked, till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hiss in the grass ahead. It's Snake, said the Mouse. Why, Snake? Hello. Snake took one look at the Gruffalo. Oh dear, he said. Goodbye, little mouse. And slid right into his log pile house. You see, said Mouse, I told you so. Amazing, said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear a hoot in the trees ahead. It's Owl, said the mouse. Why, Owl, hello. Owl took one look at the Gruffalo. Boo-hoo, he said. Goodbye, little mouse, and flew right up to his treetop house. You see, said the mouse, I told you so. Astounding said the Gruffalo. They walked some more till the Gruffalo said, I hear some paws in the brush ahead. It's Fox, said the mouse. Why, Fox, hello. Fox took one look at that Gruffalo. Oh, help, he said. G Goodbye, little mouse, and ran right into his underground house. The mouse said, Gruffalo, now you see, everyone is afraid of me. But now my tummy is starting to rumble. And my favorite food is Gruffalo Crumble. Gruffalo Crumble, the Gruffalo said. And quick as the wind, he turned and he fled. I'm sorry, I forgot to be showing you guys the pictures. I got so into the story. They're all about the same. They all look like this. Just the, the Gruffalo. See? Oh no. Starting to feel a little self-conscious. You know what I'm saying? <clears throat> all was quiet in the deep dark wood. The mouse found a nut and the nut looked good. We're back to our love of deep dark woods. And that's the end. The end. El fin. And just one more time for posterity's sake. There's our Gruffalo. So again, this is the Gruffalo. And it's by Julia Donaldson. And this artwork is Axel Scheffler. And uh, in future story times, I will definitely be reading from um, Room on a Broom, which is one of their other books, and Stickman, which we love here in our house. So, excuse me, Whoa. what did you guys think?
Was Gruffalo fun or was that fun? I love this book. I think it's adorable. He has terrible tusks and terrible claws and terrible teeth. Where are they? In his terrible jaws. Gruffalo. And again, if you have Netflix, um, be sure to watch The Gruffalo and Room on a Broom and Stickman, Stickman. Um, cause I think you will love them. I know I do, obviously. Next week's book, ready? Drum roll. Next week's book is one of my favorite from my childhood. And you guys probably all know it. It's The Monster at the End of This Book with our furry friend Grover. Um, so make sure to tune in next Sunday at 8 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I promise you I will not forget because Sunday is Sunday like it should be. Um, we will be reading Monster at the End of This Book. And if you have never heard this story or read it, I'm sorry that you had such a terrible childhood. No, I'm kidding. Um, it's amazing. It's fun. Uh, so I will be reading from Monster at the End of This Book next week. And again, if you have a book, I know that um, Darth Vader and Daughter is one that was recommended to read. I will read that at some point. I think we have it here in the house. Um, we also have Star Wars ABCs, which I love, and I will read that again as well. But if you have a book that you would recommend that we read, even if it's a chapter book, I don't mind doing... Um, some other books as well. I just really, really wanted to sort of, you know, like they say, reading is fundamental. And I think that it's important that we all sort of have fun and stay, stay kids at heart. So why do we have to give up bedtime stories? That's my thought. Hi, Kelly. Um, so yeah, I, I hope you enjoyed the Gruffalo. I know I did. And I enjoyed my time with you. Let's see, what do we have here? We have some comments. Serena. Hi, Serena. Thank you for tuning in. I hope that you liked the Gruffalo. And again, I will have more books to read you guys going forward. Um, and Jason. Thank you, Jason. I'm glad that you tuned in as well. Natasha. Yes, it is an awesome book. I think it's probably one of my favorites. What else do I have here? Not much. I don't have any like book books here. I've got a lot of graphic novels here, but not book books. My book books are on um, the bookshelves, <laughs> which is where they should be. I might have some more childhood books. I know that I was going through some of the stuff that was saved from when I was a kid and I had some books. One book that I adore that I'm throwing around the idea of reading. I'm not sure because um, there's no pictures. It's called Benicula and it was my favorite book from when I was in middle school, I think. So um, I might, I might read Benicula. I don't know. There's no pictures and I don't know if you guys could handle just me reading without pictures to show. Um, oh, we've got comments. Hi, Karen. Oh, thank you. Oh, school. Good. Have a great day at school tomorrow. Yay. I'm glad I could help you calm down. This is this is your moment of zen for the evening is listening to me uh, read children's books. So um, anyway, I just wanted to thank you guys for tuning in. Feel free to watch this again from the beginning if you missed the beginning of the Gruffalo and our conversations. Um, I have food waiting for me because I forgot what time it was and we cooked dinner late. So I have some chicken Alfredo over zucchini um, spirals waiting for me in the kitchen. So I'm going to go eat dinner. Love you guys. Thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you next Sunday for story time. Again, it's the monster at the end of this book with your furry friend, Grover. And we're going to be near far. Um, have a great night. Be safe. Love you.